What's up, y'all? It's Lance with BH Capital Enterprises. Coming to you with another video topic. Of course, I, I try to keep it market-related somehow. Um, but uh, this is going to be kind of a, not necessarily a repeat, but definitely a repeat topic. Um, I, I've done videos... I've done videos about um, support and resistance before. Sorry, I'm trying to plug up my dying device here. Okay, so I've done videos, or at least one video in the past, about uh, finding levels of support and resistance. Um, but I wanted to show you guys kind of an easier way if you're still having trouble with trying to determine how to draw your levels um, in Thinkorswim. Um, so uh, there's an indicator that helps with that, and it's called Williams Fractals. Um, and so I'm just going to show you guys how that looks and how you can use that to draw support and resistance. Um, or key levels, as I like to call them. So I just go to all studies, down to W, and I look for Williams Fractal. And boom, it just plots them out. So this is a weekly chart of Tesla over th a three-year period. So um, as you can see, it added these uh, little uh, sort of arrow type of indicators to the chart. So basically, you just use these arrows to find support and resistance. Um, of course, the wider the time, the higher the time frame, the less of these uh, fractals you'll have. But generally what you do is you kind of connect those fractals. Um, and me, you know, I teach, I teach my people um, to think of support and resistance as more of like ranges in, instead of levels. But uh, let's just play around with it right now. So... We're on the weekly chart. We'll just see how this translates to some of the lower time frames. But we'll start with the weekly chart. Um, and I'll just draw a candle, not a candle, but a uh, trend line here. Um, I like to make sure it's at zero so that I know that my levels are straight across. Um, let's see, I'll draw one here. Let's do one here. Okay. Zero. There we go. Here. And this especially is is I would consider more of a range than a specific level. All right, so now let me, let's look at the daily chart. Okay, and so you can see how those weekly fractals line up with some of these daily fractals and you can really see why I said I like to think of Support and resistance more as key levels instead of, uh, or key ranges instead of just one specific number, um, as you can see. So, um, if I were drawing levels instead, um, I would probably be, you know, drawing a level from here to here, um, level from probably here to here, um, here to here so basically where I see more clusters of the fractals is more of a significant level as opposed to you know an outlier type fractal where it's just kind of a loner you know what I'm saying so um, as you can see even on the daily chart it is respecting the levels that I drew on the weekly chart so starting here, we come up, boom, we hit uh, resistance, it drops down, uh, 
uh, bounces at a level here, down here, which is also significant or, you know, a, a key range. And then it moves upward uh, through this level, which, you know, where my crosshairs are. And it finally breaks out after a little bit of consolidation here. Um, and then it consolidates right above that range and then goes up to the next level. Um, and then it hits this level, retests this level, confirming it as support before it bounces, you know, makes a strong uh, leap upward to this upper trend line. Um, so uh, quick and easy. Um, hopefully that helps. Uh, let me let me just look at one of my intraday time frames and see. Yeah, so <laughs> it looks like you know it it be you be best served with um, looking at the daily if you draw your levels on the weekly. Um, I mean, as you can see, this is a four hour chart, uh, and although the price action does. Um, respect these levels uh, it's a lot more clear on the daily chart um, and with this four hour chart you 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 know you get some some other uh, levels as well that you can draw in between but let's say you are um, long on Tesla right so you can use those fractals those levels that you use to draw those fractals that you use to draw your levels as hey, these are going to be my entry points for buying uh, or averaging down. You know what I'm saying? Um, whereas, you know, with those, with shorter term trades, like if you're trading options, you may want to go and look at levels on some of the intraday time frames, just, just so you can get a sense for um, some some other levels that may be significant also that that you may not pick up on uh, on the weekly or the daily chart so that's pretty much it you guys uh, if you have any questions definitely uh, let me know um, I love uh, looking at and examining um, key levels and trying to hypothesize about what's going to happen to the price when it when it reaches a certain level, um, be sure to check out my previous and my forthcoming SPX Levels of the Week video. I put videos, I release them every Monday morning before the markets open, so I've uh, been doing pretty good with those so far. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.